Okay, now I continue with the second part. Uh, this is the same circuit. Okay, the same circuit. We have capacitor, we have resistor, and this is the output across the resistor. Okay, now I want to get what is my voltage gain. Okay, my voltage gain will be given like this. So in order to understand this, you must understand how to uh, obtain this by using the voltage divider. Let's see here. If I have a circuit like this, I will draw on a whiteboard. Okay. Okay. R1, R2, V supply like this. Okay, now I'm going to explain a little bit about the voltage divider. Okay, voltage divider. Actually, this is the um, knowledge from circuit theory one. So we just refresh back uh, in order to understand that example. We must understand what is the voltage divider. So voltage divider, if I want to get voltage here, V2, let's say I label it as V2. So my V2 will be equal to R2 over, I take this resistor or this impedance here, divide with the total impedance. Here, in this case, in this circuit, I don't have other elements except resistors. All resistors, we don't have capacitor, we don't have inductor. So total impedance here is actually total resistance. So it will be R1 plus R2 times what? Total supply Vs. Okay, so here uh, I use V2 and Vs, but maybe I should use V out and V in then. So it will be very clear because similar to the uh, example given. So my V out here okay, will be R2 over R1 plus R2 times V in. So what is my voltage gain? I just bring this to the left hand side. So my V out over V in is equal to R2 over R plus R1, sorry, R1 plus R2. Alright, so this is a voltage divider. So if you understand this, I think it will be easier for you to understand. What is this? Okay, so if you see here, my V out over V in is, okay, I take this resistor here, impedance here is R, divide with the total impedance. What is my total impedance? R plus, okay, don't forget that capacitor you must change to 1 over J omega C. That's the rule. Okay, so it is equal to, how to get this? I divide everything with R. So you divide this with R, you, you have 1. R divided with R, you have 1. Plus, this part you divide with R, you have 1 over J omega C R. Okay? Just now you have only J omega C, but now you divide everything with R, so that now you have another component here, J omega C R. So, we rearrange it to be like this. So, see what is the difference? Now, my J is not at the bottom. I want to bring my J up, my imaginary J up. So, it will be 1 minus J. Remember, just now, I show you the slides, uh, the last three slides about the complex number, where if I have 1 over J, 1 over J, if I want to bring it up, it will be uh, minus J. So, this is here. We apply it. 1 minus J. And here, since we have another term, omega node, so if you compare with these equations, so you notice that my omega node is actually 1 over CR, 1 over capacitance times resistance. Okay, so by using this, you can see that 1 over the whole thing here, this is the reciprocal equations, the one that I already shown in the last three slides in the notes. 
So 1 over z is 1 over the magnitude. Okay, and the angle is minus 5. Minus 5. So how to get the magnitude? You have to 1 over... Okay, this part here is obtained from this part here. So this is the... Uh, from complex number, you have to take the real parts and imaginary parts. Real part squared plus imaginis, imi, sorry, imaginary part squared and then square root. So this is the part. Real part squared plus imaginary part squared and then square root. Okay? What about your phi? Your phi will be... Okay, my, this is minus 5. So it will be minus, okay, minus, and then 5 from the slides, the notes, you, you have to refer back to the notes. It will be minus inverse, minus inverse tangent, the, this part. Inverse tangent of this part. This is minus, so you have, we have a minus. Okay. And minus and minus cancel out. That, so we have, here minus tangent of the part here omega naught over omega this is actually uh, this tangent here inverse tangent is actually the imaginary parts divide with real parts but our real parts is one okay refer back to the notes the last three slides okay real parts is one so what we have is only the imaginary parts so that's why we have inverse tangent of omega naught divided with omega Okay, so how to sketch the graph? Because these questions here ask, we, ask us to sketch the graph. So this graph here obtained from this equation. And this graph here obtained from this equation. Okay, let's see what is our y axis and x axis. It is actually h, okay, the transfer function versus omega, versus omega here. Okay, so you have to replace the value of our omega here with some critical values. For example, I will start with zero. If my value of omega is zero, so if this part is zero, what happened? This part is zero or very, very small, then this part here, the above part, will be very, very big, infinity. One divide something infinity very big will be zero so that's why my h is zero so the moment at uh, omega is zero h values will be zero what about if uh, my omega is omega naught so you replace the days with omega naught omega naught omega naught, omega naught is one so we have uh, one squared is one one plus one is two square root, square root of two 1 divided with square root of 2. This is 0 0.7071. So that's why when my omega is omega naught, the value is 0 0.7071. What if my omega is infinity? Something divided with infinity very, very big. So this will be very, very small. So that means this part will be cancelled out 0. So square root of 1 is 1. 1 divided 1, 1 divided with 1 is 1. So that's why when it becomes infinity, it will be close to values of 1. So this is the sketch for this. So here, just replace again with all the critical points. I just show only one. Eh? For example, I replace when my omega is my omega naught. Okay. My omega here is omega naught. Omega is omega naught, not which one? This one. Okay. My omega is omega naught. So this will be omega naught. And this part will be 1. So inverse tangent of 1 is 45 degrees. So I know that from uh, at this point, omega naught will be 45 degrees. So you replace with other values 0 and, infin and infinity. And you will find 90 degrees and 0. Just plug in the values in calculator. Eh? Right, so smooth for RC circuit below, obtain the transfer function of V out over V in. This is V in Vs and its frequency response. Okay, 
let ds is equal to vm cos omega t okay what is the difference compared to the previous example okay i will continue this after this